CN2 brings high performance and high functionality routing and switching into the server. This means that we can easily create segments and partitions within the cluster. With segmentation, not everything has to be a network policy. We can have a much more abstract level of isolation and use micro segmentation to further isolate within a function. Isolated namespaces resolves one of the key challenges of Kubernetes networking, which is that it is a flat network. This means that with Kubernetes networking, there is one subnet for all pods, one for intercluster services, and one for externally exposed services. This becomes a big challenge when you want to isolate more in your cluster. To see the advantages of this feature in real world applications, we have a cluster set up on AWS EKS with CN2 as the cluster CNI. Additionally, we're running Google Boutique, an e-commerce microservices application. This application has two transactional modules, front end and checkout, and the remaining are static modules. So you can think of it as your backend. With isolated namespaces, you get your own pair of virtual networks, one for pods and the other for services. To interconnect between the namespaces, CN2 facilitates interconnectivity patterns like mesh or hub and spoke. For our purposes, we have used hub and spoke. In here, we have isolated namespace one and isolated namespace two, which acts as the hub. For the blue hub, we have connectivity with red, purple, and yellow, and green. And for the green hub, we have connectivity with red, purple, and yellow. On the bottom right corner, you will see the Google Boutique app. Let's go ahead and purchase a watch. Have to cart, place order. As you can see, the order is complete. Now we'll try and see if we can disconnect our purple spoke from the green hub. So we won't be able to access the cart. Let us start by looking at the namespaces. As we can see here, we have five different namespaces, each pertaining to the box described here. If we go further in, we'll be able to identify the pods associated with these namespaces. So for blue, you see front end and low generator and so on. Now let's quickly look into the VNRs as well. As you can see here, we see the two hubs as blue and green, and then the remaining are spokes. And let's edit the purple spoke. Let's tag the green hub with a dummy. And this should help us disconnect the purple from the green. Now let's try adding the watch again. Add to cart, place order, and as you can see, we can't proceed ahead. This errors out, so now we can see an error message. Let's go back and revert our changes. Let's refresh the page. and our order is complete. Isolated namespaces not only helps with segmentation and ease of isolation, it also helps with security. Kubernetes allows traffic by default, so it is insecure by default, and you make it secure by applying network policies. Whereas when we start switching to isolated namespaces, we are secure by default, and we need to set up communication like VNRs to communicate between two namespaces.